It's time, folks. I don't think this game needs any introduction. Oh, yes. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real Are you ready to slam jam? When this game was released in 2008, it burst onto the VidCon scene with a fury that had never been seen before. I think it sold something like 5 billion copies. It, it almost sold one copy per person on the planet, but um, yeah, this is it. Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guide, Chapter 1 of the Hoops Barkley Saga. I'm not going to explain really anything. This game, again, doesn't need any explanation or an introduction. We're just going to start a new season. That's right. Warning. The game you are about to play is canon. I don't have to tell you how serious that is. Tragedy. I live in the post cyber apocalyptic ruins of near New York with my 12 year old son, Hoops. I've given him all I can, but sometimes I wonder if it's enough. And so begins our sad, glorious tale. Dad! Dad! Watch this! He's got his dad's dribble. Look at that. Impressive, Hoops. Your dribbling has gotten much better in the past few weeks. It's Belthios, the afternoon great-grandson of LeBron James. He doesn't like to talk about himself, but he's a good guy. Right, Dad? I've gotten better, huh, Dad? Dad? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You've gotten a lot better, son. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing. Oops. I was just... just thinking. Thinking about b-ball, huh? Yeah, that's it. I was thinking about b-ball. Hoops, why don't you go play some vidcons? I want to speak to Mr. James for a moment. Sure, Dad. Thanks for the dribbling tips and wall scrolls, Mr. James. No sweat, kid. Keep on practicing, though. Sure will. You were thinking about her again. Weren't you, Charles? Hmm? Maureen? You were thinking about Maureen, weren't you? He reminds me so much of her. The way he moves, his enthusiasm for the game, his eyes. You still blame yourself for what happened. Yeah, Balthios. Yeah, I do. And it won't happen ever again. I, I just can't stand knowing that all of this, everything, could be different. Barkley, you don't need to. Yeah, Balthios, I know. But I swear on her grave that nobody will ever suffer a chaos dunk again. Hand over the Neo Shekels. But I need them to buy food. Weariness and despair behind everything. 
Give me him. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get some chups. No. My Neo shackles. Breaking news just in. A killing spree has been reported. The cloaked Octo Rune, known only as Ultimate Hellbane, has struck again, this time killing two men in New Neo York Mall. Police reported signs of Zauber use and Ultimate Hellbane is believed to have connections with the terrorist organization Blood Moses. Crime everywhere. This city is going to hell. Oops. I don't want you going outside tonight. Aw, Dad. Uh, I must take my leave now. Bye, Mr. James. G goodbye, Hoops. Mr. Jordan. Mr. James? Jordan, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's a nice way to greet a friend, Charles. <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood and thought I heard some dribbling. You have absolutely no grounds to come into this house, Michael. You know that. <laughs> really now? You were an all-star baller and I heard dribbling. I have every right to come in thanks to the B-Ball Confiscation Act. Or are you saying I don't have that right? I'm saying you're a son of a bitch, Jordan. <laughs> I'll play your game, Barkley. This time. Oh, and hoops? Yeah? Keep practicing. Oops, I'm going out to get some medicine. Okay, Dad. You okay, Dad? Yeah, Hoops. I'm gonna be okay. So, here we are. Yeehaw, we got a sprint meter. A copy of I'm, I May Be Wrong, But I Doubt It. This was my first book. So, yeah. My collection of CDs. At least Jazz hasn't been outlawed yet. But there's always tomorrow. So what else do we have around here? Toilets and shit. I gotta get used to the controls, dang it. All Hoops does is play vidcons on this computer machine. He should be busy working on his jump shot. Oh, wait. Basketball was banned. Sometimes... Sometimes I forget. This is Hoops' bed. I sleep on the couch. What is this? Okay. Hoops. Hey, Dad. You okay? You're looking kind of pale. Yeah, Hoops. I'm fine. Don't practice too loud in here. Not much in here but half a carton of simulated milk and some expired protein paste. What's that writing on the wall? Hmm. Let's see what's cooking in the oven. A delicious ecto-cooler. Yes! My favorite drink. Doesn't matter if it's warm or cold. An ecto-cooler is always good. So, we need to go get some medicine. I don't know where to find it. It's been... quite... it's been probably like two years since I've played this game. I heard you yelling at Inspector Jordan upstairs, Barkley. That son of a bitch. He was the first baller to join the B-Ball Removal Department. <laughs> Did it just to save his own skin. He's changed, man. I remember when kids looked up to him. He's become a monster. Maybe. Maybe I've become the monster. What was that? Nothing, Gus. Nothing. What are you? Anybody home downstairs? It's locked. It's just the maintenance closet. Oh well. Neo New York. Oh yeah, this is where we can save it. It's truck pump. 
Ah, console video games. Or vidcons, as I call them. The ultimate medium of expression. Able to convey any emotion ranging from hatred to love, loyalty to fear, all in front of our eyes. Ah, and with lovingly crafted art, music, and the ability to control the action, vidcoms are the ultimate combination of the high arts. While I tend to play the stoic, I will be the first to admit that vidcoms have driven me to cry, to scream and shout, to feel actual hate, such is the power of this force beyond our wildest reckoning. And here I am, before you, to tempt your tongues with the taint of such a tantalizing topic. And the Japanese, the true geniuses behind the world of video games, bah, I throw my scorn upon such incompetence of the West who would mock the true art of the Japanese with games, such as Baldur's Gate and Madden. Perhaps it is that the West is not as intelligent as the East, but this is a matter for another day. Japan has given us such masterpieces as the Final Fantasy series, Star Ocean, Wild Arms, and of course, Ark the Lad. Yes, some of the finest vidcons in the world were created by Japanese. I come to you today to ask you in all earnesty, what is your favorite vidcon? I will reveal mine after the grand debate has illustriously begun but not before the first poster falls victim to my plot of discussion. So, this is who you have to talk to to save the game. Neo New York. We'll save it there. And we'll leave truck pump. Spare a Neo shekel. Get a job. Poor bum. We don't have any Neo shekels to spare. Let's see. I examine. I want to bust some of these things open to get myself some Neo Shekels. Buy Square Enix Goya today, so you can take a dump on it. You ever hear about the Chaos Dunk? They say it's as powerful as a 150 megaton nuclear blast, and the only man ever capable of performing it was Charles Barkley. It's the reason basketball was banned. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. They say we're supposed to be worried about the ultimate hellbane. But I think Charles Barkley is the real menace. I never understood why they didn't finish him off in the Great B-Ball Purge. Probably so he could live the rest of his life in guilt and shame. Can't go in there. Let me in. Kid, what are you doing out here at night? You should be at home. Kid, can you hear me? You should be at home. I'm, uh, sorry, kid. Give him a Neo Shekel? Sure, why not? Get something to eat, kid. Get yourself off the streets. It's so cold out here. What are you doing outside, man? The church is right there. They've got a heater. Go on in. Yeah, I know. I was just in there. I just... I hate spending all day in there, you know? I feel like a fucking leech. I just got no place else to go. There are some guys that sleep in there. I can't do that. Yeah, I hate the cold. Just every minute I spend in there, I feel more useless. <laughs> I know I must sound like a fool. Hey, it ain't my problem. Do what you want. Alright. Guess I'll see you. The Church of Clispeth. Mm, the other side's warmer. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, the heating ducts are on the other side. Nowadays, the only reason people come here is to get away from the cold, it seems. Definitely not for the teachings of, of Clispeth. At any rate, sometimes I feel like the last believer on Earth. If only they would let him into their hearts. What do you think, son? About what? Clispath? I couldn't care less. This rotten city is hell enough to deal with. I don't got the time to worry about another one waiting for me down the road. I got a son to take care of. I look out for him. I don't got the time to give a damn about your god. That's... That's blasphemy! Clispath is a loving god. I assure you. But I still think it unwise to tempt his wrath. The 
then so be it. If Clispeth exists, he's already taken enough from me. I'd like to see him try for any more. You tell him, Barkley. Charles, I, uh, haven't seen you in here since the, uh... Yeah, Larry. That was a long time ago. I don't know what to tell you, Charles. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. I don't need your goddamn pity, Larry. Acting like you give a damn just cause you're a priest now? You don't know shit about what happened and you got no business acting all buddy-buddy just cause we used to be friends. Shit's changed, bird. This ain't the golden age of b-ball anymore. You more than anyone should know this. You think I sold out, Barkley? You think I sold out because I'm not absolutely miserable like you? You got no place to say that shit, bird. You think it's fucking easy to raise a kid on my own? You think it's easy to be alone now and I need Maureen more than ever, bird? Charles, keep your voice down. This is a house of God. You know damn well it was my fault, Larry. You know all this shit is my fault. And you got no place to say otherwise. God damn it, man. Why'd you come here, Charles? You didn't come here for this. I, I don't know, Larry. I just kind of wandered in here. Maybe I was thinking about her. I don't know. She was a woman of Clispath, Charles. Clispath? God? You think I can believe in that shit now? After all that's happened? You think I can just pray to Clispath and everything will be okay? Shit's changed too much. I'm, uh... I'm gonna go now. Barkley. What? Don't do anything rash. Yeah, Larry. Yeah. What's back here? Knock, knock. What are you hiding back here, Larry? You got any choir boys back there? B-ball. I dream of B-ball. Okay. I honestly cannot remember where to go. Let's see. Damn. Bird thinks he's making a difference. Shit's never gonna be the same around here. That tree ain't ever gonna be green again. Kids going to the b-ball court ain't ever gonna happen. And Chin Shop ain't ever gonna be like it used to either. Shit's never gonna be like it was. So many years ago, I'm starting to see things. I better get some medicine from Chin Shop and get back home and catch some Z's. Chin Store. What a lovely place. Hello, Chin. Hey, uh, Bakari. You hear about that ultimate hell bay? That guy that killed all those people? Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, he one tough customer I hear. He uses Zalbas. Kinda makes you wonder how Blood Moses got their hands on such powerful weapons. Yeah. Didn't he just kill those two guys at the mall? Yeah, yeah. They say he out for more tonight. That's why I always carry my Square Enix Goya gun. Can't be safe around here no more. Top of the line, too. So, why are you here so late, Bakuri? What you want? I'm not feeling so well. I need some medicine. Aw, oh, I have a lot of medicine. Bakuri, but I give you this Echo Cooler. Make you feel better, huh? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Chin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, and Bakui. Yeah. Don't let that ultimate hellbane get you. Five ecto coolers, three steroids, two tobaccos. What do you know about hellbane? Back for more, Bakui? So, we don't have too much money. I'm not really going to spend any of it. 
Um, we'll be, yeah. I'm just gonna save my money for now. You take care of Akoi. I will. I have to. But my son hoops. Cause ain't no one else gonna do it. Ah. Do I have to, I think, let's see. Um, yeah, he just repeats himself here, I think. Maybe. I can't tell, it's such a long fucking rant he does. Okay. I will read everything that this game throws at me, too. I have to. It is my duty. God damn, I'm tired. Hoops must already be in bed. Let's see what's on TV. The ultimate hellbane has struck again. This time at the Eastern Motors Car Company. Slain three men once again with Zalbers. Uh, that's it. Hoops and I are getting the hell out of here. This place has gotten too dangerous. Ugh. I'm, I'm getting tired. Oh. Oh my god. Manhattan has just been completely destroyed. Ten million people are expected to be dead, with estimates ranging up to fifteen million. Dear god, this is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm... I'm sorry, folks, but I just wasn't prepared for this. The details are extremely limited right now, but the damage was believed to have been caused by a chaos dunk. Yes. Yes, it has just been confirmed that the destruction was caused by a chaos dunk, meaning that Charles Barkley is the perpetrator, Barkley being the only human alive capable of performing a chaos dunk. It, it doesn't matter if you believe in Krishna, Mohammed, or Klizpath. Now is the time to pray, Neo New York. There he is! Get him! Charles Barkley. You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk that killed 15 million people and associating with Blood Moses. Give yourself up, or we will be forced to terminate you. What? what? What's going on? Jordan, why are you here? Where's Hoops? What's happening? You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk. Surrender yourself, <laughs> or face the consequences. What? I didn't do a chaos dunk. Jordan, you know damn well I swore never to perform another chaos dunk 12 years ago. 12 years is a long enough time to change your mind. Men, arrest him. I, I didn't do it, Jordan. This is a mistake. I don't know anything about Blood Moses. You're a sick, sick little man, Barkley. I gave you time to get over Maureen and B-Ball, but I guess that just wasn't enough. I mean, you got a kid, Barkley. I thought you'd grown up. Execute this bastard. You son of a bitch, Jordan. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Quick time events, I completely forgot about them. Shed a single tear. Kurt Cobain, your carelessness led to you being knocked out. Jordan captured you and consequently you were executed. Here we go. We will survive this time, rest assured. Yep. Oh shit! There we go. Damn quick time of- Oh shit! <laughs> I'm going to fail this, apparently repeatedly. I was not expecting this. I completely forgot about this. Okay, so, there we go, oh yeah, bingo, ow, get up Barkley, for your son, there we go, I gotta remember my controls here, I remapped them, and I didn't do a very good job of remapping them, G god damn it, Give yourself up, Barkley. No way in hell. Huh? The damn kid stole my vintage Goya Cannon Mark II. After him. 
Run for it, Barkley. This is the end of the line, Barkley. You've got no choice but to surrender and tell us what you know about Blood Moses. I don't know a goddamn thing about Blood Moses. Barkley, this is your last chance to surrender and tell us everything you know about Blood Moses. Think of your son. Oops. You wouldn't dare hurt him, Jordan. You goddamn coward. You wouldn't dare hurt him. Surrender. Then it won't come to that. Okay. Okay. I'll give myself... Don't do it, Charles! What? Barkley, this way! Damn it, Barkley. You've gotten away this time. But you're a wanted man now. There won't be a next time. <sighs> what the hell is going on? Who are you? Where is Hoops? I... I do not think I can fully explain what is happening. There was someone I'd like you to meet. Someone who can make some sense of this to you. No. You're gonna tell me what the hell is happening right now. Or I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something I'll regret. I will tell you this much, Barkley. No matter what happens, I am on your side. That doesn't mean anything to me. I have no idea who you are. For all I know, you could be the ultimate hellbane. I am the ultimate hellbane. What? What the hell? What the hell is going on? I don't know nothing about no blood Moses and I sure as hell don't want nothing to do with it. What the hell is this? Barkley, the men I killed, I, I am not a murderer. They were agents of blood Moses. I am not a terrorist and I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm here to help you because... Because I know you're innocent. And I believe the same people that wronged me so long ago are the ones that are trying to hurt you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to believe you now just because you think I'm innocent? Hell no. You're a murderer. And I don't want nothing to do with this shit. Charles, please. Here. Yeah. You need to believe me. Just before Jordan came for you, I... Uh, I took hoops somewhere safe. Somewhere Jordan and Blood Moses can't get him. Hoops is safe? He's at the church, Barkley, with Bird. They can't get him there. I'll, I'll listen. I'm here to help you, Barkley. I, I can't tell you who I am right now, but I know that you didn't do it. I know you've got to be a little confused and there are a lot of questions you want answered. There's someone I think you should meet that can help you, Barkley. You've made enemies tonight and you're gonna need all the help you can get. Please, Barkley. Please believe me. I... I don't understand what's going on at all, but... If you can help me, I'll take any help I can get. We're gonna need to move fast. There's no doubt in my mind that both Jordan and Blood Moses are looking for us. We'll need to make haste. Wait. Where are we? These are the Bebaw Catacombs. The final resting place of some of history's greatest ballers. It's... It's an ancient site. But it's been used up until... The... Purge. We... Should make haste. Yes. Let's get going. One more thing. I have some battler's tomes you might want to read before venturing forward. You can check them in your item pouch. Okay. We're not going to check them just yet. <laughs> it has come to my attention that in certain circles, simian-minded individuals are referring to vidcons as vidcons, ignorantly placing a space between vid and con. Perhaps their brains have dulled by years of Madden and Quake, rather than mentally invigorating games such as Ark the Lad and Grow Lancer, because even a child could tell that placing a space between the vid and con and vidcon is perhaps more profoundly philistine than certain american administration that need not be named placing a space in vidcon 
completely belittles the meaning of the word and displays the user's blatantly minuscule intellect and misunderstanding of the basic precepts of grammar. VidCon is a perfect marriage of the words console and video game, creating a short and effective portmanteau that quickly and accurately labels mentioned objects, and anybody who does not immediately recognize VidCon as absolutely outrageous clearly lacks the mental faculties to correctly operate a VidCon other than perhaps FIFA Sports. I make this point because I have recently been belligerently barraged by imbecilic VidCon references that unnerve me to no end and have taken it upon myself to correct the damage that you poor Western educated, though this is a subject to be discussed on a later date, has wrought upon you. You should personally thank me that I did not see it fit to correct your preponderous mistake in Japanese, because I am thoroughly positive your Neanderthal mind would be incapable of deciphering the hiragana from katakana. God damn. Um, we'll save here. And I'm gonna end the video. And, um, whenever we come back, we are going to be going through the b-ball catacombs. Walking amongst the ancient legends and giants of the court.